Hello, welcome aboard. This is Lighten Up Cooking, where I take a traditional dish, lighten it up by decreasing sugar or carbohydrates, or salt or fat, without sacrificing taste. Today I'm going to be cooking fresh turkey necks. Yes, good old soul food style turkey necks. What I have here, I purchased about three pounds of fresh turkey necks that I have cleaned and washed. Now I know that there's a lot of debate about whether we should or should not wash our meat and I don't engage in that debate. So what I have to say is do whatever feels comfortable and right for you. And in my opinion, I prefer to wash my meat. Okay. I have also chopped my necks into smaller pieces with my meat cleaver. So I chopped mine in smaller pieces like that. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is to season uh, the meat. I'm going to start with Himalayan pink salt. Not too much, but an adequate amount. Onion powder, as much as you deem necessary. I like a lot because it's no salt. It's onion powder, not onion salt, so I use a lot. There are no measurements for this. You just put as much seasoning as you like and just give it a rub as you go. Also, a shout out to my former co-worker, Rose, who gave me this recipe about, well, seven or so years ago before I retired. This is, was her replacement for uh, pork neck bones. So I've been using, been cooking uh, my turkey necks this uh, this way ever since. Okay. Up until that time, I only bought the smoked neck bones. Okay, now uh, garlic powder. And, you know, I agree that this is a great replacer for the pork neck bones, which we, some of us, really love, including myself. All right. So I got a generous amount of garlic powder, and now I'm going to add, um, this is a salt-free table blend that I get from Aldi. It's called Table Blend, and it's a real good seasoning and it has no salt, so I always use a very generous amount of this. Okay, and you're gonna rub this in. And right when you think you got enough, just add a little bit more. That's like And you can use whatever seasonings you like. Um, you can just 
It doesn't matter, whatever you like. But just use a generous amount. Okay, and give it a good rub. Just like that. Okay. Now, now you're ready to cook them. Now what you could do, you could put these in the oven and you could bake them. You could put them in your pressure cooker. And uh, I suppose you could use the crock pot as well. But I'm gonna go old school. I'm gonna cook mine right here on top of the stove. So I have my pot here. And I'm gonna put my turkey necks into my pot. Now you could add onions, you could add peppers. At this point, it's strictly up to you. But what you want to do, you want to add just enough water, just enough water to cover the turkey necks. Not too much. enough to cover them. All right. Now I'm going to put my lid on. Bring these to a boil. And once they start boil, boiling, you're going to turn your heat down and let them simmer until they're fork tender. I cooked them for two hours on very low temperature. As you can see, most of the liquid cooked out, and that's just what I wanted. Okay. Now let's do the taste test. what we got. And you can see they are fork tender. And they are still pretty hot. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little hot sauce. that. kidding you these are a great replacer for your pork neck bones they really are if you like pork neck bones you're gonna like these the only thing I need now is some greens turnips or collards and my lined up carrot souffle so go back and watch that video if you have not done so already my carrot souffle video 
Thank you for engaging. If you liked, gave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, comment, you decide to follow or subscribe, thank you so much. If, if you just watched and that's all you did was just watch the video, thank you. And until next time, share a smile with someone. It will lighten up their spirit and yours too. Bye now.